Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole and today we are going to be putting together a beautiful New Year's Eve look using mostly affordable makeup. Yes, there have been tons of new releases from drugstore to high end, you name it, but today I just wanted to kind of shop my stash and see what we can create. So if you're excited to see how this quick and easy New Year's Eve look comes together and enjoy the video while you're watching, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let's get started right now. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it has just been absolutely insane for me these last couple of months, just between work, family. I actually went out of town, visited my family in Florida. They were actually hit by the hurricane, so that was definitely an experience, but I'm so excited to be back and looking forward to putting this look together. All right, I am super excited to dive right in. I do have some old makeup, but also some new products that just released one of which is the new NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. So we'll see how that goes in just a moment. So let's first get started with the skin. Now real quick, before I put any sort of makeup on my skin whatsoever, I did just want to share with you all that I recently started a tretinoin regimen from the doctor. And this is the first time I've ever used anything of that sort. So if my skin is looking a little bit rough, a little bit more inflamed, I have a few more blemishes than normal, that's why. But that is actually a great day to test out a new foundation that we are going to get to in a second. Now if any of you have used Tretinoin in the past or are currently using it for acne, please let me know your experience down below in the comments. There's already been a few challenges and struggles that I have been noticing. One of the things is when I go in with moisturizer, it almost peels right off my skin. So if you guys have any tips, definitely let me know. All right, so I've got to do something about this skin. So let's get started with the brand new foundation from NYX. This is called the Bear With Me Blur Foundation. And the shade I'm going to use is 03 Light Ivory. Now I actually didn't read anything about this foundation. So I'm just going in completely blind. The only thing I am expecting is it to blur pores and to have a medium finish. I don't know anything else about the foundation. So here is what the shade 03 Light Ivory looks like. It does appear to be a good shade match, but let's find out. Before I actually put this on the skin, I did just want to show you up close the consistency of this foundation. It almost has kind of like a whip texture, not quite as whipped as some of the other foundations I've tested out in the past and it is quite thick, so as you can see, it is not running or budging whatsoever. All right, so as you can see, I have a lot of redness on my skin right now, so let's get started and see how this foundation does. And I like to start off with just a little bit. I think the shade will work. It might be just a hair too light, but we'll make it work. So you guys, I wear glasses and contacts, and I was wearing my glasses right before I started this video, and I always have these indentations that give me even more redness than I already have, so just applying a little bit in that area. All right, so this is one very light layer on this half of the skin. Now what's really funny is it looks so pale on camera. Just looking in the monitor, I look like a ghost, but I will say it did a great job at covering up the redness. So what do you guys think? No foundation, foundation. So one of the things I was reading online about tretinoin, I promise you guys this whole video will not be about that, but it mentioned that sometimes it can actually break you out more in the beginning. And I am definitely noticing that because I used it last night and I've only been on it for a couple of days. And I have this huge breakout area that wasn't there before. So just let me know if you guys have ever used it in the past. All right, so this is one light layer of the new NYX Blur Foundation. I will say this foundation did a great job at covering up my redness, and it definitely is a matte foundation, at least that is how it's appearing on my skin. And I think from afar, it actually looks pretty nice. As I mentioned, did a great job at covering up redness, so the coverage is great. However, I feel like it's one of those foundations that is really going to suck the life out of your skin. And I'll show you up close in a minute here, but I just feel like especially on the areas that I have a little bit of dehydration, it's really emphasizing those areas. So if you have any sort of blemishes such as eye, any dry patches, I don't know how friendly this foundation would be, 
but if you have oily skin this may be a good option but let's wait to see how this foundation looks once it settles into the skin now one product I actually really love from NYX is actually from the same Bear With Me line. So this is the Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Now for whatever reason, I cannot find the shade Fair. That is a shade I typically do enjoy. But this is the shade Light, so let's go in with this next. Now this concealer, you guys, I absolutely love it. I know I haven't talked about it in quite some time. But ever since I reviewed it, which I think was well over a year ago, I use it pretty frequently. It doesn't dry out the skin, it doesn't emphasize any texture, and it actually has great coverage, which really surprised me because it is a serum concealer. But I find it is just a beautiful concealer, so if you're looking for an affordable concealer, definitely recommend checking out this one. So I feel like the concealer looks great as it always does. I can tell you right now, I am just not a fan of this foundation. Can you guys see like I have these lines going through of dry patches? It's really emphasizing my blemishes down here. So not a fan of the foundation so far. It's all right though, we are going to keep moving forward. So next let's move on to the cheeks. Now if you guys are looking for a great powder to set the skin, I definitely have to recommend the Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation. Even though this is a powder foundation, you can also use it to set the skin. This powder is incredible. I remember when I first reviewed it, which was quite a while ago, and I think this is under $6. It is just a phenomenal powder, blurs the pores, sets the skin, doesn't emphasize dry texture, has great coverage, all of that good stuff. Now, I wouldn't say it's medium to full coverage, it's more light to medium, but it is just absolutely beautiful. Now, my skin is just a little bit too dry, so I'm not going to apply any powder today, but that is a great one. Now, as far as bronzers go, this is also from the brand Essence. This is a beautiful glowy bronzer, not too much, just the right amount of sheen. And this is in the shade 02 Sunkissed. Now, I was kind of worried because I fell in love with these bronzers. They have another one that's kind of a blush and bronzer combination, but I was worried they were going to be limited edition, but I still see them at Ulta. But these just provide such a beautiful sheen to the skin. All right, next, if you guys are looking for one of the most intense highlighters you have ever used, especially on the affordable side, I definitely got you covered. So these highlighters are from the brand Give Me Glow. They're actually a newer brand to me. These highlighters are absolutely incredible. They definitely have an intense metallic sheen, so I would definitely recommend going in with a light hand. And the two shades I have here are Powdered Perry and Late Night Coastin. All right, I am so excited to reshare these highlighters with you guys. I mean, look at that sheen. These are so beautiful. So again, this was in Powdered Perry and Late Night Coastin. They just have one of the most intense sheens I've ever seen in a highlighter, and they're on the affordable side. I'll never forget when I first reviewed these highlighters, I took my brush, went in like I normally do with most highlighters, and I went like this. Oh my gosh, it was one of the most intense stripes I've ever seen. So I definitely recommend going in with a very, very light hand and tapping off the excess. So I think I'm actually going to tap this on so I don't drag that foundation. Oh my gosh, can you guys see? Look at that sheen. So if you are looking to stand out on New Year's Eve, these are beautiful. Look at that. You will definitely glow to the gods with these highlighters. I just can knock it over how much of a sheen these highlighters have. They are just absolutely stunning. For blush, let's use one of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes in the shade At First Blush. Now I'm actually not going to apply a ton of blush just because of how my skin is right now. So I'm not sure if this blush will pick up on camera, but I'll swatch it so you guys can see the color. Just provides a nice, beautiful sheen, not too much, nothing like those highlighters, but just help to bring the skin to life. So here is a pretty heavy swatch of At First Blush. But once you blend this out, it is a very nice kind of light baby pink. All right, next up, I'm dying to test this out. So this is a brand new brow product from the brand Benefit, and this is called the Fluff Up Brow Wax. 
Now you might be thinking, hold on a second, Benefit isn't exactly an affordable brand, and you are correct. However, they do sell this in the mini size, which retails for only 15 US dollars, so not too bad. And that is the size that I picked up for today's video. So here's what the brow product looks like in the tube. And let's see what consistency this has. All right, so this is actually white. Now I know a lot of the times they say that these white products are supposed to go on clear. I don't find that's always the case, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They are a benefit after all, so let's test it out. So I will say I am not a fan of how this applicator holds in the hands. It's just kind of awkward. You can't really get a good grip on it because it has this triangle shape. So not a fan of the actual applicator, but let's see how this product applies to the brows. So this is of course supposed to hold your brows up, give them a fluffy look. And I have very thin sparse brows. So I'll just go in with a pencil once I'm done here. Now I am noticing some of the white kind of color of this, but once you brush it through, it does seem to be dissipating. The only thing is if you have a darker complexion, I don't know if this would show up on your skin. Well, I will say this does look amazing on my brows. It really did make them look fuller just from brushing them up with the product. So I'm pretty excited. So can you guys see the difference with nothing on this brow? and then fluffed up with this new product. Man, this is just so awkward to hold in the hands because you're almost forced to hold it from the tip right here and you just can't get a good grip on that. I can't believe no one thought of that. Now the bigger size might be a little bit easier to hold, but the mini not so much. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of a brow pencil and I'll be right back. All right, so I must say, I really do enjoy this brow wax. Nothing extraordinary, it's not keeping my brows perfectly in place, but I do enjoy how they look very fluffy, applied very easy with the brow pencil on top. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. All right, so next we're going to create a very easy but beautiful New Year's Eve eye look using none other than ColourPop, the Stone Cold Fox palette. Going in with Stranger as a transition. So I'm pretty sure this palette was one of the first mega palettes I ever purchased. I just remember being so impressed because you guys know I love my cool tones. Now I know I'm not zoomed in yet, just throwing this on the transition real quick. Next, going in with the shade Rumor Mill. So I'm just going to put this on the outer crease, do a little bit of blending, and we are going to be halfway done. So a very easy look. So this is a matte and of course it's a very cool tone kind of blue gray. So if you have a warmer tone, you can go in with a shade that has a bit more warmth to it. I just love this shade Rumor Mill. Look at how much more sultry this eye looks just applying that one shade versus this. Love this palette. Next up, the shade Bold Type. Now sometimes I find when I go in with a darker shade on the outer corner, and of course you want it to connect just a bit to the inner corner of the eye, but I find if that shade is too deep, it can just look a little bit too harsh because I am so fair. So that's why I'm going in with a shade that's a little bit lighter, and I'm just going to kind of connect this from where the shade starts, the deeper shade, and just going across the lid just a bit. So just right in that socket. I'm not even looking, you guys. This is such an easy look. And we'll just swipe all the way across so everything is blended. Have that exact same shade, bold type, just on a different brush. I'm going to swipe this on the lower lash line about two thirds of the way in. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go in with another brush so this is a shade that's just kind of going to smoke out the bottom lash line. Let's connect the bottom lash line to the outer corner. It's so just doing a little bit of blending right there. Now you can smoke this lower lash line down as far as you want. The more dramatic, the further down you will go. But next let's go in with a deeper shade. All right, next let's go back in with the shade Rumor Mill. That was the deep outer corner color. Just using an eyebrow brush. I'm gonna focus this right on the lash line. 
Now this is the part I do kind of take my time with just because I already did my foundation so I don't want a ton of residue to be coming down. I love how adding the deeper shade right at the lash line just makes things look a little bit more sultry. So let's get this on the other eye. All right, now for the glam and fun part. So I actually have a couple of options for you guys. So the first shade is called Magnetic Moon. This is such a beautiful silver. If I ever saw one, let me swatch this for you guys. This is pure silver, a beautiful shade for New Year's Eve. So you definitely can't go wrong with that. But if you really want to step up the glam, I have another option for you. So this is an eyeshadow single, again, from the brand Give Me Glow. Now this is in the shade called Xenon. Let me take this out of the packaging. Now listen, if you really want to wow someone with a beautiful, very sparkly, glitter, shiny eye look, you cannot go wrong with the shade Xenon. Now it is a glitter shadow, so you do have to be careful. Now I did review this in another video, but let me re-swatch this for you. Now I barely picked up any product because I don't want to waste it. This is just such a beautiful shade. Look at that. That is like a blue to green to teal. And the shine on this shade, it is just stunning. So if you really want to wow someone, this is beautiful. So we're going to use both because I'm extra like that and why not? So first let's go back into the ColourPop palette. Again, using the shade Magnetic Moon. So I'm going to place this shadow on the inner half of the lid. And just wait until you guys see. For a ColourPop palette, look at the shine on that. It is just gorgeous. So I'm going to take this across about just over a third of the way on the lid. And really, you guys could stop here. I mean, look at the shine on this shade. It is just beautiful. So as I mentioned, of course, you could stop here. I just love the shade Magnetic Moon. I think for an affordable palette, this is just such a beautiful, shiny shade. But next, I'm going to dip into Xenon. So when you guys use any of these pressed glitters, they apply very smooth, very creamy. So you don't have a ton of glitter just flying around like some can. But of course, just be careful. And you definitely do not need to pick up much. I barely dipped in. Look at that shine. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to just plop this right on the center. Look at that. I mean, you do not need much. So I'm going to actually take it on the other eye as well. Kind of blending it in with the silver from the ColourPop. I'm just using a brush just to do a little bit of blending on the edges so everything is seamless. Alright you guys, so take a look at Xenon up close. I'm hoping the light will be able to catch all the different pigments in the shadow. I mean look at the pigment on this. I mean you will be shining to the gods. Alright, so I was starting to look a little bit shiny, so I just went in and applied a little bit of the Essence Cover and Last Powder Foundation. Just did a little touch up on the T-Zone. So what do you guys think about the shade Xenon? Alright, next I'm going to do just a couple of final touch ups. One of which is going to be applying a red lip. You guys know that takes a hot minute. So these are both affordable lip products from the brand NYX. So the lip liner is in the shade Kitten Heels, and this is a NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Pure Red. And I'm also going to apply some false lashes because, you know, why not? It's New Year's Eve after all. Now these are lashes from the brand Too Faced, but if you're looking for some great affordable lashes, Shop Mase has some awesome options. I just don't have any at my table right now, so just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to apply these. All right, you guys, so here is the final look up close, so let me know what you all think. I really like the shade of this NYX lipstick. I actually haven't used it before. So the shade Pure Red is a beautiful one. And as you guys know, I just love the shade Xenon. So of course, as I mentioned before, you could completely glam this up or glam it down depending on your liking. So let me know what you guys all think in the comments as far as how this New Year's Eve look came together.
Now I will say as far as this new NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation, this is a hard no you guys. I just do not like how it's sitting on the skin. It is definitely a very matte foundation so if you're younger perhaps you don't have a lot of texture, dryness, and you have very oily skin, this might be a good option for you. But I do have an alternative instead of this one. And that is from the brand Makeup Revolution or Revolution. It is called the IRL or In Real Life Foundation. That was a really nice, affordable, semi-matte foundation and did not emphasize the texture like this one is doing. I did forget to mention the name of the lashes from Too Faced are called Sex Kitten. These are some of my favorite lashes. I actually cut them right in half and only place the inner portion on the outer portion of the eyes. As far as the brow wax goes, yes, I really enjoyed it. I think it looks very nice. It did what it said it was going to, fluffed up and held the brows. Nothing super exciting or anything over the top, but do like this, just not in love with the handle. All right, you guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed this New Year's Eve look. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.